Hello. Hmm. Things have been happening in the country. I mean, when it comes to social events and we've seen weddings 2024, you will agree with me that last to marry, there's something happening that these people are not telling us. Because why is it? That, I mean, people are even saying, please, what church prophesied <laughs> marriages in 2024? Maybe we should go and attend that church. Because we are seeing a lot of persons get married. But of course, there is wedding and there is wedding right we've seen some marriages that some weddings happen and they've crashed less than a year after but that's not what we are talking about here in this video we want to talk about the weddings that have broken the internet not just this year but you know several years past let's talk about some of our celebrities that their weddings have really wedded some of these guys are not together anymore but that's not our business what we are talking about is what did these people spend on their wedding what did the internet have to say concerning their wedding when it happened now i'm going to start in no particular order and with in no particular year order i'm going to start with davido and choma chivido these guys got married on the 25th of June, 2024. That is one of the two weddings that has happened very recently in the country. Second, Sharon Oja and her husband. These guys broke the internet for a different reason. So I'm not going to, they're not on this list, guys. If you expect me to prove them, they did not break the internet because of their wedding. They broke the internet because of the controversies that followed the couple right but let's talk about people that broke the internet because of the caliber of persons that attended because of how lavish the wedding was so yes chibido was a massive one we had dignitaries we had the former president of the country in attendance we had different governors we had socialists we had early civil society attend chioma and david do a nigerian music artist wedding chioma is also a chef these guys have been together for donkey years they've you know rumored they've been rumored to be traditionally married married so many times they've been rumored to be legally married so many times. People are even saying that they, indeed they, they've been legally married for a while now, but they just held a traditional one just to have people attend and celebrate with them on the 25th of June, 2024, just to have the large societal fun fair wedding. And you can say that it was a fun fair wedding. Now, moving on from Chioma, let's talk about a marriage that happened just before lockdown in 2020. If you ask me, I think that was the last big thing that happened in 2020 that in, um, in terms of marriage before COVID lockdown happened. Some people might say it's the AMBC 2020, but for me, I think it's Anita and Emmanuel Ikubese's wedding. Anita Browse, Anita um, is a celebrity makeup artist, Emmanuel Ikubese is an actor who is now relocated out of Nigeria, but he still does acting and producing. Their wedding happened in 2020, February, and by March of 2020, or like by April of 2020, these guys had separated, but the wedding was a wedding. That wedding was huge. It was massive. It had a lot of people um, coming to come, um, you know, celebrate to this couple. And a lot of persons said maybe Toke had something to do with Anita's marriage ending. We don't know. Both of them are not really speaking now. Um, I don't think, I don't know if they're really speaking, but, you know, compared to years before that period when Anita was constantly beating Toke Makinwa's face, you know, both of them were girlies and whatnot we don't really have and uh, uh so okay to address it at some point to say she had no hands in anita's marriage ending but i feel like that's one of the short-lived marriages here by given how much was spent and how lavish the wedding ceremony was anyways um we have banky banky w and adesua itomi both you know celebrities actors um singers and you know pastors in fact bad 17 was one to remember that was the marriage or the wedding or the event that solidified Ebuka's space and place as one of the most fashionable men we have in the country in Nigeria. Ebuka's Agbada alone broke the internet. I mean, <laughs> we should have a celebration for Ebuka's Agbada breaking the internet for Bad 17, I think, every year. Yes, that happened. And Bankole and Adesua are still very much together. They welcomed uh, a son a couple of years ago. Both of them are still together. They are still in love. They are still making movies. And we are just really so happy that at least this union is still standing and we hope it stands forever. Moving on from them, we have um, Vicky James and Femi Atere's wedding in 2024. Now, Vicky James' wedding broke the internet for the outfits that she wore because a lot of persons had, had I mean, they've had things to say concerning Vicky James um, because... For other people's wedding ceremony where she's been a guest at, she had dressed so well. And people began to wonder, what will you wear on your wedding day? Vicky, Vicky James is a celebrity fashion designer. She's 
married to Femi Atere, and a lot of person refers to the husband as Mr. Vicky James, something that she absolutely abhors, and she says nobody should refer to him as that. But I mean, you're putting this man on the internet every now and then, and he's always in your shadow. So why do you think they refer to him as Mr. Vicky James? But that's not the topic of discussion. Let's talk about the wedding. She, you know, she, in fact, the person that photographed them, one of the photographers is one of Liberia's most sought after wedding photographer. So she really flew people in, the designers of her outfit, she designed her outfits, you know, she, she really looked beautiful and the wedding was, you know, days long and it was a very amazing event. If you ask me, which really broke the internet. Now moving on from even the things she gifted her bride, her, her, her bride what do they call them now? Her bridal team, her bridesmaids amazing now moving on from them let's talk about kemi adetiba and oscar's wedding that happened back in 2022 when kemi adetiba announced that she was engaged it caught a lot of persons by surprise kemi adetiba is known for a movie um king of boys among others wedding party and so many other amazing movies she's married to oscar also a movie producer and music executive the wedding was well attended it's held in ghana and also in nigeria the outfits she wore were very regal outfits it paid homage to her ethic ekiti cameroonian um, 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 um what's it called now heritage and also her husband who is ghanaian it just paid homage and she brought in all of that it was a blend of beautiful culture elite people amazing celebration came at it by an oscar really broke 2022 for us another event that happened in 2022 was rita dominic a um, nigerian actress and fidelis anosike who is a news producer a journalist and you know all of that both of them got married in 2022 the traditional wedding happened in a home state in nigeria he must stay here then they went to england to get married you know um, in the church and it was beautiful it also broke the internet. In fact, I think Richard Dominic has been breaking the internet since then because every, every, in fact, literally every six months afterwards, a lot of persons have, news have broken that she had welcomed twins. People have just been womb watching Richard Dominic since that time, but she's just um, enjoying amazing marriage to Mr. Anosike, and we are here for that. Now, moving on from them, the person that kind of opened 2024 for us, <laughs> Kule Remy and Bolo Atiwi. Yes, these guys are the ones that opened 2024. January, they were married. And since then, we've been seeing marriages happen in 2024. It also broke the internet because a lot of persons didn't see it coming. Um, Kunle Remy posted a video or pictures of himself and his bride at their um, legal ceremony, the civil wedding, and then said that the traditional, was going, the traditional wedding was going to happen. Tiwi is a $10 niece. Niece, yes, the dollars niece. So it saw the attendance of also billionaires in the society, elites, the big people, and it was a well attended event. Socialists, his colleagues, and it was also a fun wedding. We saw a lot of fun activities happen in that wedding. The pre bridal party was the pre wedding party was also very beautiful, you know, fun fair. It was really amazing. And of course, both of them have shown us that yes, their love for each other is strong. They attended um, Sharon Rogers' wedding, and we could see them all loved up among others. Now, moving on from them. Let's talk about one of the weddings that happened outside of the country, one of the destination weddings. That is Tuz Oniru and Captain Demorin's wedding back in 2016. It happened in Dubai. And these guys gave customized iPhones among so many other souvenirs. When you're talking about luxurious events and luxurious weddings, this is one of such events. Tuz's wedding, spectacular. Our outfit, spectacular. The, 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 the guest spectacular, it was Banky W that bested the husband. Just very amazing celebration. Two-Face and Annie were also one of the pioneers of destination weddings so many times ago. Their wedding also happened in Dubai and it was amazing. But another wedding where they distributed iPhone, customized iPhone precisely, um, Tibli's, Tibius and Tibius and Tiwa Savage's wedding they distributed customized iphone with the couple's initial on it now i'm wondering those iphones where are they now the guests well, what did you guys do with those phones i'm just really curious all these weddings where they distribute phones it's also alleged that um chairman davido also gave his people a samsung phone and that you had to pay about 10 million or something to get those boxes that contained those goodies including a phone but I'm really concerned about because we could we could confirm that Tibius and Tiwa had an amazing wedding 
they are no longer together. The union produced a child, Jamal, amazing boy, Jamal Balogun. But we want to can we need to talk about that phone, that, especially since it was customized with the couple's initials. Did these guys just dispose the phones or did they return it to the couple when they married? I mean, I'm just really curious to know what happened to that. Honorary mention for a wedding where phones were distributed will be good luck Jonathan's daughter's wedding that had Paul and Sundry attend and they also distributed an iPhone 15, gold-plated iPhone 15. To be a guest at such weddings. <laughs> Anyways, moving on from them, let's talk about um, Stephanie Coca also had a destination wedding in Greece to politician billionaire Adenri Okun, who also contended for contested for senatorial seats in Ogun State um, at the last election, but lost unfortunately. But yeah, Stephanie Coca and her husband got married in Greece. It was a well attended wedding, also star studded, amazing celebration. Um, Moses Blues and wife also happened in the 2024 February, thereabouts in Ghana. Broke the internet for all the right reasons. Who did who Moses Blues marry? Because Moses Blues um, announced his engagement. Another person figured thought it was Vicky James, but that was it was not Vicky James. He got married to a Ghanaian lady. Surprising, beautiful woman. Union, amazing wedding, well attended, star studded event, also. Um, yeah, I think I've exhausted the list. Oh, Pastor Blessed and Messi Chinwo. That also happened. That happened. That happened. They had a hit layer wedding cake, very gigantic cake. Uh, outfit, guys. Messi Chinwo's outfit was lovely, star studded, beautiful marriage. And honestly, I feel like honorary mention also has to be Dangote's daughter's wedding. There, there's, there's a picture that is still on the internet now of the wedding that had Dangote seats with Bill Gates and some of the wealthiest. I mean, in that picture, the you, person that took that picture literally photographed hundreds of billions of dollars at a table. I mean, if, even, if the, even if the event is not luxurious or whatever, the gathering alone, people compared Davido's wedding to that wedding saying nothing can beat that. Regardless of how much you spend on your wedding, you can't beat bringing, flying down some of these American top, you know, wealthiest persons, flying them down to grace your daughter's wedding is just, excuse me, flying them down to grace your daughter's wedding is just the height of it. Very beautiful thing to see. Anyways.